Welcome back, everybody. Another bonus episode here. Uh, Kevin Horde. Lorenzo over here. These aren't the nerds you're looking for podcasts. We are going to be talking about Star Wars Galaxy of Adventures, um, which I'm just now realizing that galaxy is not plural. I thought it was galaxies of adventures, both plural. Uh, There's so. only one galaxy in the Star Wars universe. But apparently there are many adventures and uh, plenty. Not only many, but also many. Uh, six episodes dropped the other day, right? Yep. Yep. On Friday, uh, November 30th, we discussed basically two days prior to that, they dropped the trailer. Mm -hmm. uh, and there was a quick turnaround on these six episodes. Uh, do you want to run through what the six episodes are? Yeah, I'm not going to uh, do descriptions of each individual episode, but basically they're kind of like character portraits of uh, classic moments in Star Wars cinema, right? So uh, the first one is Luke Skywalker, The Journey Begins. Episode two is titled Darth Vader, Power of the Dark Side. Episode three, Luke vs. the Wampa, Cavern Escape. Episode 4, R2-D2, A Loyal Droid. I'm going to be honest, I don't remember that one at all. Uh, episode <laughs> 5, Chewbacca, The Trusty Co-Pilot. And Episode 6, a second Darth Vader episode called Might of the Empire. Yes. These all run, it looks like the shortest one is 1 minute 1 second, and the longest one is 1 minute 18 seconds. Um, and that is including like a 10 second YouTube end screen thing that stays static for a while right so even with a, a one minute uh one second episode you're looking at 45 maybe, seconds ish. yeah 45 seconds of actual video they all start with kind of like a similar voiceover uh and so like the first one is luke skywalker right so then i thought this was supposed to be like luke skywalker like narrating his own uh like bio but it's not it's just like uh nope. it's it's a it's a male's voice, a young male's voice, basically saying in, what's he say, like, in the galaxy there are a lot of adventures, and this is the adventure of so-and-so. Something like that. And then, like, intros, whatever. It's basically, whatever. A, yeah. It's an, it's an overall unaffecting narrator that mm -hmm. is placed on some of these videos. He's not present in all of them. Uh, I don't think he's in the Luke versus the Wampa one, but I could be wrong. No, actually, no, he is in that one. Um, I don't think he's in the Darth Vader one. I think the Darth Vader one just kind of kicks in the gear. Uh, but again, I could be wrong. And then uh, I guess we I, can I, also say yeah. that there are like three. You said there were, there were like three bonus videos, uh, which are uh what are they there, there are three little fun fact videos about yeah, Luke skywalker facts. darth vader and starfighters cool. uh they run about a minute and a half each as well and they have the same narrator they basically just run through for luke skywalker like the entire art there they do incorporate some live action footage from the six uh original george lucas movies as we can call them i guess like the pre-disney films mm -hmm. um same with the Darth Vader one. They show some live action footage of both uh, Darth Vader from the original trilogy and Anakin Skywalker as portrayed by uh, Hayden Christensen. Uh, same with Starfighters as well. They, they do a mix there. Uh, yeah, just really quick overview of those topics. So um, I didn't expect that, but I gave those a view as well because these were all so short that it took less than 15 minutes basically to watch all of these. Yeah, even for sure. with a little break in between. For um, sure. Yeah, these are quick. These are very, very quick. They are so quick as to be disconcerting to me. Um, yeah. Again, I go. I I understand the the age range that they were going for, and we discussed this in our trailer discussion. All the same, it was just jarring how short these were and this is even against how short say the forces of destiny's short features were and those are like remind me again uh those are like two and a half three minutes ish something somewhere around like there, that right? yeah yeah uh. but there's at least like full dialogue and there's again a beginning middle and end 
to each of those, right? There's some little moment that happens and the moment is concluded to some degree. Mm -hmm. The one that probably has the most of that here would be like Luke versus the Wampa. Mm -hmm. You know, we see Luke stuck in the situation and we see Luke get out of the situation. Yeah, I'm not going to beat around the bush here. These six Mm -hmm. episodes are shorter than the trailer for the series was, right? And so uh, they yeah. really, really feel like teasers for something else. Yeah, it's uh, I, like I, we talked just a few days ago, and I was super excited about this prospect. I thought they would be in that three- to five-minute range. I think they should have been. And the fact that, the, yeah, we got one minute out of it is weird. You know, like – Again, the animation is pleasant and it looks really nice, and yeah, I think the it, I think the style is awesome. Uh, yeah, the animation's great. The fact that when these characters are uh, speaking, for the most part, they're using the original dialogue from the movies, which is right. cool. Um, but you get forty-five to fifty-five seconds worth of like a character bio and that's it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem like I to be Lorenzo and I talked about this a little bit off air. So the, the target demographic is 35 year olds, right? Uh, What they need is like Sesame street or door of the Explorer for star Wars. They don't need these little one minute things like this is not, this is not going to succeed in pulling in uh, a new audience in the three to five year old age range, right? Because even then, in a th- three to five year old, like I'm not a parent, but my suspicion is the sort of parent that would leave their kid with an iPad. This is going to be done in less than fifteen minutes, and then they're off to watch the next thing, which might be Sesame Street, that has a. 22 minute episode right right you know or any other disney channel show and even the shorter ones the ones that go the 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 shows that get jammed into like the 15 minute Mm -hmm. so they're like 12 12 minutes long yeah 12 minutes long so kids can follow that even right Mm -hmm. um i know the the thought is that like kids have a shorter attention span but like one minute isn't even enough to like get you acclimated to what's going right. on it's like exactly ooh, there's this thing yada 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 Lo- oh look something okay oh it's over next one right it's exactly I, it's it's a star wars disney disney people out there it's a really weird choice what you're doing right now i was super stoked uh for the trailer and after watching these episodes i'm just kind of i won't say disappointed i'm not going that far uh confused if you will yeah like what is the goal here yeah like i'm not i'm not gonna lie likely what's gonna happen is the same thing that happened between me and forces of destiny which is i don't remember which episodes i have watched i know there have been a shit ton of episodes that have released Mm -hmm. since then that i have not watched and i don't feel like i'm missing anything honestly i didn't yeah this i know there's more forces of destiny out there but just don't don't feel like getting to those at all yeah, I need like to. I need to get through all those. Yeah, but uh, I'm sure it'd only take like 15 minutes to watch all of them. I just don't feel like it still, which is so bad. Yeah, so I mean that's that's kind of my opinion. Uh, Disney missed the mark on their target audience, in my opinion. Uh, the these things feel more like previews for something else. Uh, I think this could be a really really fucking awesome thing if it was you know longer than a minute five minute ten minute burst sure scene by scene burst cool um that would work but i i'm I'm hesitant to to say that this uh gives a thumbs up on my successo meter yeah like these six together i i if we were doing that yeah i'm going thumbs down on these are just kind of there they're, they don't add anything i'm not gonna lie like the three bonus features i found more interesting because of 
the way it was presented. We got 90 seconds of Luke Skywalker business. And because there was a narrator, we kind of get his arc. Uh We get the full arc in the bonus feature. Whereas in the journey begins, it's like this weird, awkward cutoff, like what could happen next sort of thing. But right. I'm like, like you said, it feels like a trailer to something. Whereas, unless the fun they do facts, like each kind of, <laughs> each kind of scene of Star Wars eventually, and you can like string all these things fucking together and watch, you know, an hour's worth of uh, Dragon Ball Z Star Wars. Then, but I, I would don't have rather know. them do that in order than rather than dropping six random moments in Star Wars lore. I, yeah, and just I having fun with it. I do not disagree with you. Uh, yeah, so... But yeah, yeah. I've got to give this one a thumbs down as well. Not because the content itself is bad, but uh, there's just not enough of it. It's not It just doesn't do anything to me. In yeah. a, a way that is kind of... I don't know. It's not enjoyable to me. It's just there. It's you know, just it's like, not hey, bad. There was, there was a thing. Yeah, it didn't offend me. It's just nope. there. Gonna, like I watched it and I moved on with my life, you know. So, so yeah. And anyways, uh, we just wanted to be quick about this one and respond. There's gonna be more that drop throughout December, so hopefully we'll see if they switch up the format at all. I'm not getting my hopes up at all for that. I wouldn't imagine that they would for what's coming out in December. I'm sure all that's done, but maybe if they continue this into 2019, that potentially, uh, you know, maybe they'll get some feedback hearing that yeah. this th- it's just not enough. Yeah, definitely. So we'll we'll see. Anyways, um, yeah, we just wanted to be quick about this one. Uh, as always, you can uh, reach out to us at not the nerds uh, at g- uh, podcast not at not the nerds podcast at gmail dot com. If you want to email us, uh, um, you can reach Kevin on Twitter at not the nerds. You can reach me on Facebook at not the nerds podcast. We also want to thank Lindsay at strange fantasy music at gmail dot com. She put together our music. We also want to thank Kevin at They Call Me K Dub who put together our uh, cover artwork. Yep. Uh, yep anything yep. else you want to say before we get well, on out here? That's all I got. So thanks for sticking around for a nice, brief, hopefully brief uh, bonus episode on we will Galaxy never be more brief. Of Adventures. Yeah. Yep. And uh, Disney, give us more. Please. You got a good idea, but uh, good idea, bad practice. Yeah. So anyways, uh, as always, you can listen to us on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, TuneIn, YouTube, wherever you're listening to this. Like, subscribe, please. Uh, Give us a review. Tell us how we're doing. Tell us what you like. That's all. These aren't the nerds you're looking for. Adios. Adios.